Right oh. Go your movers, Mick here from Everything Earth Moving. Uh, here we've got a REE RB30S rock breaker. I was going to show you how to install a brand new moil. This is also the same uh, operation you do for replacing an old moil when it's worn out. Uh, you're going to need a couple of things. Obviously, you're going to need, need the chisel. You're going to need yourself a hammer. And you get yourself a drift, which is in the toolbox that comes with the breaker. And you'll also get your EE rock breaker grease ready as well, because we're going to be using that. So the first thing we need to do is have a look on the actual breaker itself. And you'll notice that there's a little hole in the side of the breaker here. And if you feel inside that hole, you can actually feel a roll pin. What we want to do is knock that roll pin out. So you get your drift, you pop it in from this side until it hits the roll pin, and then you knock the roll pin through. You don't have to take it all the way out, but before you pull your drift out, just make sure that you put your hand underneath the breaker because you want to catch the retaining pin. So you pull your drift out, and the retaining pin ends up in your hand like so. The next thing we do is we open up the Everything Earth Moving Rock Breaker Grease. You'll notice it's copper coloured, it's got 21% solids in it, including copper and molybdenum and aluminium and graphite. Grab yourself a nice little two finger amount like that. Pick your chisel up. And what we want to do is we want to just apply the grease from the tapered section through the scallop and about 50 mil, 75 mil down the shaft itself. Just making sure you don't get any grease up on the top there. Nice little application like this. Alright, we're all set. Just pick the grease on your finger. What we'll do now is we're going to put the chisel back into the or into the breaker. You'll notice the scallop section there. What we want to do is line that scallop up with the retaining pin. So you pop it back into the breaker. You look down through the hole in the top until you can see daylight right through. And just before you put your retaining pin back in, just give it a small grease along the bottom there. Like so. And as it drops through, it'll grease the whole pin. Excess grease back in the tube. Give a bit of a wipe. Now put your hand back underneath. Catch the retaining pin as it drops through. Grab your hammer and we'll punch the roll pin back into position. Once we get close to the actual body of itself, just grab your drift again, pin punch, turn it backwards, apply some pressure to it. Oops. Did they call me lightning? You just want to hit it until you can hear it hit the hammer itself. Okay, that's home. And that's it, that's how you change the chisel out. Uh, once it's worn down, obviously, you just do exactly the same thing. And that's it, mate. The RB30S rock breaker chisel change. Thanks, everything else moving.